We rented a camper van and drove it around the American Southwest. We wanted to show the kids all the iconic sites of the Southwest like the Grand Canyon, Las Vegas, and many more. The first thing I remember is flying on the plane to Salt Lake City and looking over and seeing this and thinking, what the heck are you doing with your mask? Speaking of masks, please don't judge us as throughout this video we are wearing a lot of masks as it was filmed in the middle of the pandemic. Nowadays, it is super uncommon to see people wearing masks, especially outdoors. Anyways, back to 2021. We flew into Salt Lake City where we rented the camper van and drove the six hour drive down to Moab. We hired a guy to see the petroglyphs and about the area. And then you'd have the Anastasi and the Fremont come through here. But the most recent were the Utes. It does kind of look like you unique. It is. I can I can see it's not carved. Now you see he's got little fingers too. Where? A little bit more detail on that guy. Fingers. It's pretty well known huh. because this is called the birthing rock. You could probably see that this was probably maybe a place that there were a lot of births at. And then so it was really bumpy and then it was like crazy and on my Fitbit I got extra steps for that. I remember the guy taking us up to this cool viewpoint and wanted to get this really cool shot with a slow motion camera of the kids. And then they pulled out their Cheez-Its and they started eating them and coughing on them and totally messed up the shot. But that's okay because I was able to get that really cool shot right here. So we spent the night in the van to get up the next morning and head to Arches National Park. Okay. <laughs> Well, Arches was super cool because there was a lot to do and see, and of course many arches to look at. But there was one arch that everybody comes to see, and that's a delicate arch. The thing that we didn't realize about this arch is that there's a very decent hike to get up to the arch. It wasn't just off the side of the road. It's tiring. This is really hard. It'd be easier if you had long legs. Yes. It's like a three mile hike and like just out of breath. You having fun though? You can like climb up to see the arch like in person. It's it's really good. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah, we're going. Bring it. Go. Okay. Henry, give her some space. Would you say your legs are wearing off? Yeah. Well, then you make me go slow, so this foot has to stop me. You hard to go down with one leg. No, I'm stopping it with the leg. Like when I run down, I stop it with this for first. Then we drove outside of the National Park, which was really cool because there was nobody at this site. We found a little arch that we were able to fly my drone up and through this arch, which was really cool. And I could fly my drone only because it was outside of a National Park. You can't fly drones in National Park. What we found was sometimes these lesser known areas that are off the map are actually cool and more exciting and more enjoyable than the really cool popular ones that everybody looks at online. The next stop was Monument Valley. It always seems like family photos end up like this where you have like one kid smiling and the other one looking like they're going to be on a couple of mug shot. Do you know the name of this Monument place? Monument Valley. Is it amazing? Yes. Anyways, it's time to head to the Grand Canyon. It's really cold out here, so I'm using a hand warmer. It is 629 Monday, March. 20 seconds. We got out from a bus and now we're in a station looking down and soon we're going to go to another station to look at more sites. Uh, and basically it's just more angles of the Grand Canyon but with like different landforms and like different kinds of stuff in the background. See? Cool. Alrighty. One, one shoe on. One sock on. Okay, great. <laughs> the van life. I like it. Is it pretty tight in here? Mm, no. Yes. Henry says yes. Okay. Stop. Maybe we'll see that. <laughs> We stopped to get some groceries at the store on our way to the Hoover Dam in Las Vegas. We 
Hoover Dam was really cool to see, but what the kids really wanted to see was Las Vegas. I'm excited for the sugar factor. likely have to park really far away as it is considered oversized and can't be parked in most hotels main parking lots. Then we took the van and we traveled the long journey back to Salt Lake City where we returned the van and flew back home. 